Hello everyone. So welcome back to our latest uh, lecture session, right? So uh, we have been discussing uh, the practical applications of, uh, you know, acid bases and, you know, how to uh, look at employing or deploying Vimintech to be able to make your life easier, right? And I believe in the last uh, lecture session, we discussed uh, problems with respect to mixing two solutions of different characteristics. And we saw that we need to balance conservative quantities, right? For example, when I think the example we looked at was uh, looking at solution of pH uh, 6 and pH 8. And if you mix them together, what would, the, what would be the pH uh, given that you have different alkalinities present and so on. So you can't obviously just take the average, uh, neither can you just take the average of uh, H plus concentration. So you need to take the, uh, what do we say, uh, you need to look at the uh, total component balance or balance on conservative quantities. So component balance is something that we are aware of and uh, conservative quantities are uh, alkalinity, acidity and so on, right. So today we are going to move on to probably uh, the last aspect with respect to acids and bases. So here again we are going to consider a mixing problem. Uh, so first we are going to discuss the theoretical basis for this or how to solve or approach uh, these kinds of scenarios and then we are going to look at a practical example and how to use women tech or solve by hand, uh, you know, uh, to analyze that particular situation, let us see, right. So let us move further and so the uh, uh, aspect that we are going to look at is when the theoretical definition of alkalinity is not consistent with the uh, measured alkalinity, right. So and when is this the case, right, and as we know alkalinity, the theoretical definition, what is that, I think what are the bases here in the carbonate system HCO3 minus plus 2 times CO3 2 minus plus OH minus minus H plus, right. So this is considering when uh, we have only the carbonate system and that is what we look at with respect to uh, the theoretical definition of alkalinity anyway, right. So obviously when would this particular definition of alkalinity not be consistent with the measured alkalinity and how do we measure this particular alkalinity, uh, you know in your lab how do you do so. So I think we looked at a titration endpoint or we uh, consider a titration endpoint of 4.5 as mandated by the standard methods, right. And then we take an acid of known concentration and we titrate uh, until we reach that particular endpoint uh, pH 4.5 and we calculate the amount of acid, right or equivalent amount of acid that we uh, had to uh, consume or the solution consumed before reaching that uh, 4.5. So obviously if only the carbonate system was predominant, uh, this particular theoretical definition would more or less be, uh, you know, similar to what you would calculate or measure uh, practically. But when would that not be consistent? So we looked at this case, so let us not go into it in great detail, but let us look at this case when we also have the species of PO4 phosphate, let us say, you know, HPO4 2 minus, right. H2PO4 minus and H3PO4 let us see, right. So let us say when you have the phosphate uh, acid base uh, or conjugate acid base species in your particular solution too, then they are going to obviously interfere with your particular practical measurement because let us say uh, depending on the pH HPO4 minus or H2PO4 minus and uh, what is it now PO4 3 minus 2 can interfere with your particular uh, measurement, why is that? They can consume the proton, right. For example, H2PO4 minus can consume one proton depending on your particular, uh, what is it now, pH, right, and uh, HPO4 2 minus 2 and so on, right. Again, we looked at how to uh, calculate that based on the reference we take and the reference should be such that, you know, uh, it is uh, pKa is nearer to the 4.5 value and I think the reference we took was H2PO4 minus, if I am not wrong the last time. Anyway, we are not going to discuss this again, but we are going to look at the applications here, let us see. So again here, uh, let us understand that, you know, if I write down the particular equation in this case, you know, the total alkalinity will be equal to alkalinity due to the carbonate species and alkalinity due to the non-carbonate species, right. So that is what we are trying to understand here. So what, uh, what are the contributing species here and they are? this and what would that be alpha 1 plus 2 alpha 2 into CO3 total, right, plus alkalinity due to the non-carbonate species, right. So this is the key aspect that you need to understand that, you know, we are going to uh, specify alkalinity due to carbonate and non-carbonate species independently 
and from our understanding of alkinity, we know that you know alkinity due to the carbonate species would be equal to HCO3 minus plus 2 CO3 2 minus and which we are representing obviously as alpha 1 plus 2 alpha 2 times CO3 total using the ionization fractions right. So, again once we have this particular case, so how do we go further let us see right. Uh, so, let us say you know uh, we consider two cases. So, we look at the example later on in greater detail. So, initially let us say we have pH and we have alkinity total alkinity and let us say we also have PO4 total. So, which I will uh, you know approximate by or use the variable x to approximate it I guess right. Uh, so, instead of PO4 total I am having uh, representing it as x total. So, I have pH alkinity total and x total. So, let us say how can I calculate H total or CO3 total now. So, either by hand or by uh, Vimintech let us say right. So, we will look at the fundamental basis here. So, again as we just discussed we need to identify the two aspects uh, independently what are they the carbonate alkinity and the non carbonate alkinity right. So, how can we do this let us say you know. So, for example, let us say this is pH at pH 1 initially right and after your titration what do you know that the pH is going to be the pH 2 you know is going to be equal to 4.5 right. This is from your practical measurement the standard method value right. So, what is your end point for alkinity measurement now you add enough acid such that the pH falls down to 4.5 right that is what uh, that is how you end up measuring the alkinity. So, let us say this is the key that we are going to look at. So, we are going to measure let us say pH 1 is for example, 7 let us say initial pH is 7. So, I am going to use Vimintec to measure the H total right required to bring down the pH from 7 to 4.5 as in when would the pH fall from 7 to 4.5 when I add an acid right or H total increases right. So, I am going to look at the delta H total right and what will that give me an idea about that delta H total is nothing but going to be the case of alkinity due to the non carbonate species right and when is that the case when I only enter pH and x total right. So, this is the key here let us just look at what we are up to. So, I want to be able to calculate alkinity due to the non carbonate species right. Uh, so, I am going to consider the case where I have no carbonate in the system and I am going to use Vimintech to approximate that and how can I uh, measure that now. You know that practically right uh, we measure it by adding enough acid such that the pH falls down to 4.5 which is our end point for alkinity titrations yes. So, even here I am going to try to uh, approximate that. So, here for a practical uh, what do you say for an example I am assuming that the pH is initially 7. So, I will let us say I am going to use Vimintech to mimic and calculate the amount of acid required to bring down the pH from 7 to 4.5 right. So, that is what we are talking about how much acid is required how much acid is required to bring down the pH from 7 to 4.5 right and I can look at that with respect to delta H total right. And as we know that you know if there is no carbonate system present it will be equal to the alkinity due to the non carbonate species. So, thus when inputting the relevant uh, variables in Vimintech what do we need to input only the pH and x total certainly not alkinity because alkinity in Vimintech only considers the carbonate system right. So, Vimintech right when you look at alkinity what does it consider it considers that the system is predominated by the carbonate species right. So, we are going to try to mimic the case uh, where uh, we add enough acid to bring down the particular pH to 4.5 and calculate the amount of acid uh, required right. So, from that I can calculate uh, what is it now the alkinity due to the non carbonate species and I know let us say from my initial case alkinity due to the total uh, total alkinity. So, alkinity total minus alkinity due to the non carbonate species will give me the alkinity due to the carbonate species this is something I can calculate right. So, then I can either calculate by hand or by Vimitec the other total components and how can I calculate it by hand we just looked at this in the previous slide what is alkinity due to the carbonate species it is alpha 1 plus 2 alpha 2 times CO3 total right. So, this is a known value which you are calculating out here right and alpha 1 and alpha 2 are fixed for two, uh, for the carbonate system for a particular pH and so you can end up calculating CO3 total right. And how do I do that in Vimintech let us say. So, now I can uh, plug in pH alkinity due to the carbonate species that is what I can calculate right 
and then x total, right? And from this, plugging this in, what can I calculate? I can calculate H total and CO3 total. Again, you know, people might ask, why can't you just plug in alkalinity due to the total, uh, alkalinity total here, right? Well, because we mean tech only considers carbonate species when it calculates alkalinity. So, you are going to end up with an erroneous value, right? So, let us look at a uh, particular example. So, I believe we are going to look at an example with respect to anaerobic digester, right? So, anaerobic digester, I think people have enough background in that particular aspect. So, I am not going to go into that in detail. Yes, so let us look at where we are. So, let us go through this, this particular question once. So, it looks like 2000 milligram per liters as CaCO3, right? And that is the alkalinity, I believe, right? And we have volatile acids as 500 milligram per liter as acetic acid. And the, this is alkalinity total, right? Assume that all the volatile acids can be considered to behave like acetic acid, right? So, obviously, you are going to have formation of volatile acids in your particular anaerobic digester. And so, here we are going to consider that all these volatile acids are going to behave as acetic acid, let us say, okay? You know, that is a valid assumption here. And so, obviously, we are, uh, this is what we just talked about, right? That some state will be measured as alkalinity during the alkalinity titration. So, the key is that the theoretical definition of alkalinity is not valid, right? So, here what do we have here, please? We have that the alkalinity total is equal to 2000 milligram per liter as CaCO3 and uh, volatile acids in the form of equivalent to 500 milligram per liter as acetic acid, right? And then obviously, you know, we are so, again, you have in your anaerobic digester uh, certain alkalinity total, right? And you also have uh, volatile acids being formed, which are equivalent to, let us say, 500 milligram per liter of acetic acid. And I believe the first aspect of this question, you know, uh, looks for the fundamentals. What are they? The total concentration of carbonate and hydrogen ion, as in what is CO3 total and what is H total, right? So, again, you know, this, this is a practical application, but we obviously need to know the total components to be able to calculate any other variables, right? So, the first aspect or key aspect is to be able to approximate what is the total carbonate concentration and also the total H total, right? So, how do we go about this? Uh, we are going to obviously look at what we just discussed earlier, right? So, let us move on. So, we have 2000 milligram per liter as CaCO3, right? And that is our alkalinity total. And as we know, alkalinity total has two components. Why is that? Because we have acetic acid, let us say, right, CH3COOH initial. And what was that equal to? I think it is 500 milligram per liter. Let me just confirm that, right? That is 500 milligrams of acetic acid per liter of the solution, right? And here, as we know, alkalinity total and the contribution is going to be due to alkalinity due to the carbonate species and also alkalinity due to the non-carbonate species here. So, there are non-carbonate species, what are they here obviously, right? You have HAC and AC minus acetic acid, right? HAC and the acetate ion, yes. We have these two particular uh, variables that are going to affect your non-carbonate alkalinity. So, the first key aspect as we discussed earlier was to be able to come up with calculating alkalinity due to the non-carbonate species, right? So, how do I do so, right? I am going to mimic the particular case. So, I am going to use Vimintech. So, what is the initial pH here? Do we have an initial pH here? I believe it should be pH 7. So, let us plug that down. So, the pH 7, right? And total alkalinity was 2000 milligram per liter. So, I look looks like I missed putting that in the question. So, we have pH of 7, right? Alkalinity total and thus. So, how can I calculate or end up calculating alkalinity due to the non-carbonate species? So, again as we discussed earlier, we are going to uh, use uh, Vimintech to calculate the amount of acid required to bring down the pH from the current value to the alkalinity endpoint, uh, titration endpoint, what is that? 4.5, right? So, how do we do that? Let us go through, I guess, right? So, let us switch over to Vimintech and obviously, what do I have? I have acetic acid. Right, I need to plug that in. So, it is an organic compound. So, I am going to use that here. Show organic compounds, yes. And acetic acid or acetate. So, before I go through, I guess here the units are in molal. Okay, I do have milligram per liter units too. So, I guess I can use that. Or if not, I can obviously, you know, let us calculate uh, the concentration in molar units, right. So, CH3COOH. 
the concentration is 500 milligram per liter. So, molecular weight what is that going to be uh, 2 carbon 2 into 12 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 hydrogen plus 2 oxygen right. So, hopefully uh, dividing this 500 by you know this I am going to end up with a concentration in millimolal right. So, that is going to make my concentration in millimolal. So, uh, we can get that done uh, with Vimintech I guess. So, let me open up Vimintech ok later on and but for now I am going to use a state as in the units of milligram per liter right and that is going to be equal to anyway I think it is better that I calculate the uh, concentration. So, let us see how this is going to be I guess. So, let us look at what this uh, molecular weight of acetic acid is. So, that is 2 12 24 plus 4 and 32 right. So, that is 60 uh, grams per mole and so we need to calculate what is it now 500 by 60 and that I am told is coming out to be 8.33 millimolar right. So, let us just plug this in so that we can uh, switch over seamlessly to Vimintech later on. So, HAC naught is equal to 8.33 milli molar units right. So, let us say H total is also going to be equal to HAC naught right that is going to be equal to 8.33 milli molar or rather I am not going to look at this right now right because I am going to specify pH I do not need to specify this now. Anyway, estate total is going to be equal to 8.33 milli molar right. So, what are we going to do now? We are going to specify pH equal to 7 and estate total equal to 8.33 millimolar and we are going to end up calculating H total and then we are going to specify pH equal to 4.5 which is our end point and keep estate total the same 8.33 millimolar and now I am going to get a new H total, H total 2 right, H total 1. So, what is delta H total? Uh, this is going to be a, a higher value is it? I am going to add an acid. So, H total 2 minus H total 1. So, what is this now? How, how is the, how can the pH go from pH 7 to pH 4.5? Only when you add an acid right, add acid that is when the pH is going to fall down and the equivalent amount of acid is going to be nothing but equal to the alkanate due to the non carbonate species which is acetic acid here. So, that is how we are going to end up calculating our alkalinity due to the non carbonate species right. So, let us plug this in first and calculate H total here. So, pH 7 and estate total of 8.33 millimolar right. So, let us switch to Vimintech here and we are going to have now uh, millimolar units hopefully we have that yes. So, we now need to go to the key 8.33 I will add that to the list and as we know pH is fixed at 7 ok. So, view edit list just to be on the safer side back to main menu and run Mintec ok. So, now we should uh, calculate H total. So, that is going to be equal to what now? How do I calculate H total please? How do I calculate uh, H total? H total as we know is nothing but H plus minus OH minus right and what else here? So, we have H plus and OH pardon me uh, AC minus here and what are our species? They are AC minus, HAC, H plus and OH minus. So, uh, what is the contribution here? So, it is 1 and 0, uh, 1 and 1, H plus is 1 and minus 1 and right and this is nothing from nothing but what is the recipe species HAC naught that we looked at earlier right. So, anyway we do not need to plug this in now because we are fixing the pH at 7 but anyhow H total is equal to H plus which we just plugged in here OH minus minus OH minus which we plugged in and plus HAC right. So, this is what I was trying to elaborate here. So, we need to use Excel now to be able to calculate this particular uh, uh, set of variables or HT1 right. So, let us first go back to Vimintech output right. So, let us say print to Excel and now I need to be able to calculate equal to 
uh, H plus concentration is this minus OH minus plus HAC and that is going to be equal to 4.4122 into 10 power minus 5 molal, right. So, let us go back to this particular case and plug that in. So, just we uh, we can remind ourselves later on, so right. What did we just get please? 4.412 into 10 power minus 5. It is 4.412 into 10 power minus 5 molal units, right. So, this is HT1. Now, I need to calculate HT2 and what is the case when the pH is 4.5? But obviously, a state total is the same as what we had earlier. I think we had 8.33 into 10 power minus 3 molar units, right. So, now let us look at the second case. So, now I am going to change the pH such that it is going to be at 4.5. So, where do you have this? 4.5, right. So, I am going to view it the list, ok, seems fine, and I give the units here. And now I am going to end up with running Vimintic. And again, let us print to Excel and look at the new set of values here. So, again, I need to calculate H total that is equal to H plus plus estate HAC, uh, estic acid minus OH minus, and that is going to be equal to. 5.31 into 10 power minus 3, right. So, let us plug that in somewhere here. H total 2 is equal to 5.31 into 10 power minus 3. Uh, let us just see if we are on the right track here, not right track, pardon me. Let us just look at, look at our value. This was the previous value, and what is the current value here? Okay, 5.3 into 10 power minus 3, right. So, now we need to get the difference of these two values. So, let us do that uh, right here I guess. Anyway, uh, so that is going to be equal to this particular value minus and what was the value from the previous case please? H total 1 that was equal to 4.412 E minus 5, right? 4.412 E minus 5. 4.412 capital E minus 5 and enter and so we end up with a value of 5.266 into 10 power minus 3. So, let us plug that down here. So, H total or delta H total which is equal to H total 2 right minus H total 1 is equal to what was it equal to please? 5.266 into 10 power minus 3, right. So, again uh, how did this particular pH from 7 to fall down to pH to 4.5? Only when you increase or you add an acid. So, that is why you see that your H total is obviously increasing, right. So, what are we trying to do here? We are trying to mimic the case when we add an acid to bring down the uh, or tie you know mimic your titration case when you are bring down the pH from 7 to your end point which is 4.5. So, by calculating the difference in the H total you can calculate the equivalent amount of acid added right and what is that particular case equal to not particular case that number equal to that is nothing but equal to the amount of alkinity due to the non carbonate species right. So, that is equal to the alkinity due to the non carbonate species right. So, obviously, we need to now calculate alkinity due to the carbonate species and that is equal to alkinity total minus alkinity due to the non carbonate species, right. So, how do I get that here now? So, where is our alkinity total? I think we had alkinity total as 2000 milligram per liter as CaCO3, right. So, uh, let us change the units here. So, alkinity total was equal to 2000 milligram per liter as CaCO3, right. And we know that uh, the equivalents, I guess, 50 gram per equivalent uh, for CaCO3, right. So, we are going to have to divide that here. So, the relevant units are going to be 2000 
into 10 power minus 3 by 50 equivalents per liter. So, that is going to be equal to uh, 220 by 5 would be 4, right. So, 40 into 10 power minus 3 equivalents per liter. So, right, hopefully, I am on the right track. And so, this is nothing but 0 0.04 minus alkylated due to the non carbonate, and that was equal to 5.266 into 10 power minus 3. It, I, so, I am just going to subtract 40 minus 5.266 in Excel, right. So, let me switch to Excel here. So, that is equal to 40 minus 5.266 and enter that is 34.734. So, that is going to be equal to 34.734 into 10 power minus 3, right. Again, again obviously, equivalents per liter units, yes. So, what is this now? This is the alkynity due to the carbonate species. So, let us move on to the next case. So, now what are we trying to find? If you uh, remember the question, we were asked to find HCO3 total and H total. So, by hand, how can you do this? Let us say uh, you know that alkynity due to the carbonate species is due to HCO3 minus and CO3 2 minus 2 times CO3 2 minus, which is nothing but alpha 1 plus. 2 alpha 2 into CO3 total. So, I now have the alkynity due to the carbonate species and that is nothing but 34.734 into 34.734 into 10 power minus 3. So, I can look up the values for alpha 1 and alpha 2 at pH 7, right, which was our initial case alpha 1 and alpha 2 at pH 7. I can plug them in and I can calculate CO3 total, right. And then again, you know the relevant speciation. So, I can plug in the values for H total or in the alkynity equation, let us say, and then I can end up calculating the uh, H total too. So, again, that is by hand. So, let us see how we can do that by Vmintech. So, obviously, in Vmintech, what am I going to do? Right, uh, we are obviously going to have uh, pH 7, right. I am going to plug in alkynity but alkynity I am going to plug in as equivalent to the alkynity due to the carbonate species only. Why is that? We mean take can only consider alkynity as the alkynity due to carbonate species, right. So, and what else can I plug in? I can also plug in the estate total, right. And so, once I plug this in, I should you know get the relevant output and from the output I can calculate CO3 total and H total which we are going to uh, look at now. So, let us see where we are up to now, right. So, let us close the different excel sheets, ok. I am going back to Vimintech, back to input menu. So, now the pH is the initial value, what was that please? That as we knew was at 7, so pH is at 7 and view edit list what else? So, estate is still 8.33 millimolal, right, but what else do I need to plug in? Let us go back to our particular sheet, we already have estate total, we have uh, pH 7 we need to plug in the alkynity as uh, we just calculated our alkynity that is due to the carbonate species that is 34.734 into 10 power minus 3, right. So, we need to plug that in here and let us go back to here and how do we do so? Parameters, specify alkynity and they are equivalents per liter. So, I will choose milli equivalents per liter let us say and 34.734, right, 34.734. Yes, and I am going to say OK and run Vimitech and I have the relevant uh, what do we say aqueous species concentration at uh, equilibrium. So, I am going to print that to Excel and I have the relevant cases here. So, first let me try to calculate uh, what is it now CO3 total. So, that is going to be equal to CO3 2 minus plus HCO3 minus, pardon me, I think I made an error here. Uh, I need to go back, right, and now uh, plus HCO3 minus plus H2CO3 and enter. And so I now have my value for uh, CO3 total, right. And uh, next I need to calculate H total. So here I need to be uh, relatively careful. So I am going to first work it out in Vimitech here H total what are the species here we know that they are H2CO3, 
HCO3 minus CO3 2 minus HAC AC minus H plus and OH minus right. So, this H plus what is the contribution to here and obviously AC minus and CO3 2 minus which I am not going to plug in here right. Uh, so, anyway or for sake of ease let why not do that to 2 at uh, 0 and 1 here it is 1 0 1 0 0 and 1 how many H plus for HAC 1, how many AC minus for HAC 1 and 0 and again this is 0, 1, 0 and here it is 1 and minus 1, 0, 0. So, how do I calculate H plus? It is nothing but this or H total pardon me, it is nothing but this component balance. So, 2 times H 2 CO 3 plus 1 times H CO 3 minus plus HAC plus H plus minus OH minus. So, let us plug this in into our Excel sheet. So, let us see where we are here. So, that is going to be equal to 2 times H 2 CO 3 right plus 1 times H CO 3 minus right and what else did we have plus H A C and where is H A C plus H A C right plus H plus minus O H minus right and where is O H minus here and we now have our CO3 total and H total. So, let us just uh, write this down so that we can solve the next parts of the question and we have CO3 total equal to 0 0.0414 and let me write that down here CO3 total is equal to 0 0.0414 and what is H total equal to 0 0.0482 let us see 0 0.04 a 2 right. Again, so uh, let us just review our approach and end uh, today's session and continue the uh, parts uh, B, C and D in the next uh, session, but let us just review what we are up to. So, again uh, we uh, because theoretical alkalinity you know is not the same as uh, measured alkalinity in this case, why is that you have a state right. The anaerobic digester you have a state formation. So, thus you cannot use that particular 2000 milligram per liter in the relevant equations and plug that in and go through. So, how did we simplify this as we divided alkanate total alkanity into carbonate species alkanity and alkanity due to the non carbonate species. And first we had to calculate alkanity due to the non carbonate species. How did we do that by you know using women tech you know to take a shortcut right. How did we do so? So, we said uh, pH 7 and estate total we calculate the H total required and again pH 4.5 which is our end point for alkanity and estate total in women tech we calculate another H total. So, the difference between these two H totals what does that give us? It gives us the amount of acid added to bring down the pH from 7 to 4.5 given that the total estate concentration is what is it now 8.33 into 10 power minus 3 millimolar right. So, that is what we had we had pH 7 and estate total equal to 8.33 millimolar. So, if I want to calculate alkanity due to the non carbonate uh, species how do I do so? I need to titrate. So, I looked at this particular case, I calculated H total 1, calculated H total 2 and what is the difference here? That is nothing but the amount of acid that you are adding to the system right, uh, acid equivalent right and what is that equal to obviously alkanity due to the non carbonate species. So, once we calculate this non carbonate species alkanity due to the non carbonate species, we can then calculate alkanity due to the carbonate species and then we just use Wimintec or you know how to use uh, or how to solve the situation or scenario by hand too right, uh, where alkanity uh, due to the carbonate species is equal to alpha 1 plus 2 times alpha 2 into CO3 total. So, you can either use hand or you know simplify and save time by uh, looking at Wimintec. So, with that I will end today's session and we will look at the other 3 or 4 uh, parts of the question in the next class and thank you.